Coming up on Look Today, well, the Glens Falls Open Door Mission is looking to raise money to update its facilities. I've got details. And the Glens Falls Collaborative kicks off its Out to Lunch series. More on that coming up. Plus, Congresswoman Elise Stefanik passes important legislation in light of recent gun violence. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. Tonight's program, I sit down with Bob Kafin. He's the chairman of the board of directors for the Adirondack Council and we're joined by John Sheehan. He's a director of communications for the council and they're here to talk about the importance of nature conservation in part two of our interview with them. I also sit down with Matthew Copens. He's a director of development and community outreach for the Waldorf School in Saratoga Springs. He's here to talk about the upcoming Circus Smirkus fundraiser to benefit the Waldorf School. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. In a lead story, the Glens Falls Open Door Mission is seeking to raise money to upgrade its facilities. The Open Door is looking to raise $12,000 to replace its convection oven and commercial range, as well as expand programs at the Mission's Soup Kitchen on Lawrence Street in Glens Falls. Well, two local businesses have pledged their help to raise funds. TD Bank, will collect cash donations on July 15th, while North Country Subaru is collecting non-perishable food items through July. We spoke to Kim Cook. She's the director of the Open Door Mission. There's a lot of people that depend on us to, uh, to feed them every day. So if one of those ovens goes, we're in really big trouble. And it's not just a family, but many, many people in the community. Switching from news to weather. Well, today saw some overcast skies with temperatures in the mid-80s. I got news for you, up to the mid-90s. So let's see how the rest of the week is shaping up. For a more detailed look at our weather, we're going to head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Back to the news. Well, here's a follow-up on a story we told you about about a month ago, I think. Glens Falls Collaborative's Out to Lunch series kicked off Tuesday in City Park. Well, the event will run until August 16th, every single Tuesday. The event is to promote downtown businesses and encourage residents to order takeout from restaurants and bring it to the park. Well, next week, live music will be provided by Blues Noir. That's a staple blues band in the region. And the featured organization will be the Adirondack Theater Festival. Well, we spoke to Rich Serino. He's the president of the Glens Falls Collaborative. What we have is a beautiful park in our downtown. We have talented artists. We have theater. We have musicians. We have lots of people who work downtown and people who live in or near downtown. So those are all the great assets that we have here in Glens Falls. So what we can is just bring them all together. So the collaborative creates a little structure. We create an event, we promote it, invite the artists, invite the musicians, invite the public, and away we go. In other news, Congresswoman Elise Stefanik helped the House pass the Helping Families and Mental Health Crisis Act. Now, the bipartisan legislation that the Congresswoman co-sponsored will address the federal mental health system in light of recent gun violence. Now, the legislation will refocus programs, reform grants, and remove federal barriers that prevent those who need the most mental health treatment. Congratulations to her. Up next, I sit down with Bob Kafin. He's the chairman of the board of directors for the Adirondack Council, and we're joined by John Sheehan. He's the director of communications for the council, and they're here to talk about the importance of nature conservation in the Adirondack Park in part two of our interview with them. Plus, I also sit down with Matthew Copens. He's a director of development and community outreach for the Waldorf School in Saratoga Springs. And he's here to talk about the upcoming Circus Smirkus this weekend. It's a fundraiser to benefit the Waldorf School. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea, how about join us for an interview? Give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. Well, I've got a couple of lookouts tonight. The first one goes to Lisa Hecker. 
Lisa Hecker is a viewer from the Glens Falls area, happens to be married to Norm Hecker, who's involved here at Look Media in a big way, I might add. Well, Lisa just had quadruple bypass surgery. And according to Norm this morning, she's doing well sitting up, reading, and talking to people. So Lisa, everyone here at Look Media wishes you a speedy recovery. And the second lookout goes to our Congresswoman, Elise Stefanik. As today's news indicates, we're far from solving the issues concerning gun violence in this country. And I just really want to applaud her uh, for co-sponsoring that bill. Anything we can do to heighten awareness with issues with mental health and gun violence really helps our society. So congratulations, Congresswoman. Tonight on Look TV, it's sold. That's our call-in auction program, Great Estate Jewelry and Coins. Don't forget, tune in tomorrow night for the stories that matter to you. Good night, everyone.